What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Mojo, and we back again with another banger. And in today's video, bro, we got we got some more God Freely. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I just ran across this random-ass video. Black people ain't shit. We can't even organize crime. God Freely on white unity versus black unity. I'm like, bro, what you mean by that? Like, bro, we are. We are the shit. You know what I'm saying? fuck you mean and we have organized crime we have we have like everybody else like i don't get that but i'm finna check it out you know what i'm saying i just want to bring it to the channel see what y'all think you know let's get into it but before we get into the video man make sure you like comment if you're new to the channel subscribe for more lit bangers on the way also comment down below if you smoke today let me know if you rolled up let me know if you've been getting high you know what I'm saying? Had that stress reliever. You know, I believe everybody need it. You know, we did, we we will help the country. You know what I'm saying? Alcohol does not help. You know. Also, y'all check out my vlogs. You know what I'm saying? Check them out. I got a whole lot of stuff cooking up. Whole lot of stuff. Y'all just need to get in tune, bro. They funny as hell, y'all. Check them out. Let's get into it. Here, let me ask you this. Yes. Because people say, "Well, Shadow, you causing all this beef?" Did you know that this community, this many comedians, yes. didn't like each other? Listen, man, I, it's really sad to say this, but uh, our 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 community. I hate saying community. Community sounds so. Poor. Are we talking about the black our community? Society, or are we talking about, com are we talking about black, comedic? Um, no, because the white dudes. I'm gonna keep it 100 because I know a lot of white comics, and man. They, they ain't beefing like first, that. Hell no. And they, they, I'm not saying they, there's not guys that don't like each other, but these motherfuckers, they, they will hold that solidarity. That white male solidarity, white solidarity, it will hold it. Mm -hmm. Because they all are on each other's podcasts. Rogan makes these motherfuckers kings. It's Rogan. And even though, shout out to Adam Carolla, because I do his, I'm a regular on his, mm -hmm. you know. And, um... They, they share each other's shit. They get on each other's podcast. Right. They help each other all the time. Ah, I don't even want to say this shit, but if it causes controversy, I'm down with it. We ain't shit. <laughs> Real talk. We are fucking whack. Cause here's. Bruh. Bruh. Do I not? I mean, I can't. He kind of. In a way, I get what he's saying. Like black, like black folks, we do need to unite better. You know what I'm saying? We do need to come together better. We need to stop. We do need to stop hating on each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, some of us ain't. But that's everybody. Nobody like nobody's perfect. Like white, some white people ain't shit. Some Hispanics ain't shit. Some Chinese, Japanese, whatever you want to say. You know, there's good and bad and everything. Um, we always have air our grievances on public platforms. Okay. This motherfucker ain't that funny, that motherfucker. I'm like, why? I don't understand what is this fucking addiction of calling each other out in public all the time on who's funny, who's why. I don't understand. We're the only ones that kind of do this shit. Okay. You know? And of course, we watch because controversy is always fun, but I don't know why we do that. We should be on each other's podcasts. We should be like, you know, liking each other's shit. But we don't do that. I know some comics, and I I got comics that don't like me. And I'm not saying anything. I mean, I, I, see it. Easily. See it. I got comics that don't fuck with me. I got comics that have talked shit about me, but I never let them know. They've talked shit about me. I've had comics talk shit about me to people in the business, producers, who have come up to me and said, hey, are you friends with this particular person? I could say his name right fucking now. And they say, yeah, I know this guy. What's up? Well, he was saying some really disparaging things about you, but we didn't believe him. I think you should give him a call. And I call him. I say, why the fuck are you talking about me? And I've never done anything to you because I don't do anything. Any, you can tell anybody. I, I mind my business, Shannon. I stay in my lane. Right. I'm hmm. I mean, you know, at the same time, one thing I realize about black people we just talk shit a lot, you know? A lot of times, a lot of times, controversy does sell. Controversy definitely does sell. You know, it is entertaining. It is fun. You know, 
but I definitely believe it should be done with boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody going to talk a little shit, especially comedians, you know, but just like with white people, white people, they talk shit about each other, but at the same time, it's a game to them. They understand like they'll meet behind closed doors and be like, hey, I'm going to say this, you say this. You know what I'm saying? And then we going we gonna to meet up over here and get the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, black folks, if we going to, like, you know, just troll better. You know, if you going to troll, troll. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, y'all meet up. I'm going to say this. You going to say this. Then we going to meet up here and get the bag. You know what I'm saying? I, I do kind of feel like that. Like, I do feel like certain black people do be hating on other black people because, you might feel like that person might feel like they're better than the other person because how the other person presents themselves and how they want to be. I'm like, bro, just you be you, I'm going to be me, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't come in my face talking that crazy shit, I don't care, bro. Do what you're going to do. But black people, we is not whack. We is not whack. You know what I'm saying? That haircut is whack. You need to like dread it up or braid it up or something. Because that shit whack. That is whack. You ain't even got a fade, God freely, bro. You just got a ball. You should just neck it. Dude, was like, let me be the best comedian like, I Like, the side of your head is just like your the side of your neck. It's the, it matches. I do. I don't stab people. I'm not into stabbing people in the back. I guess that means you're doing shit. pretty good. Because that's what I've been told. What? It comes along with the business. When it you're doing well, people take shots. They take shots at me. I've, I've had women tell me shit. Here's the thing. When a dude is talking bad about another dude to a woman, that's bitch shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's bitch shit. Yes. I don't do that. I can have a beef with you, right? And if I see a girl that you know, I'm not going to say shit to her about you. That's right. cornball yeah, shit. Well, well, but I... they do that to me. And I've been told. That is that is pretty lame. If you go into another, if you go into a female to talk bad about me to her to get her not to like me, bro, that's sad, bro. That shit weak as hell, bro. And I wouldn't even probably like that female no more because you don't even have a mind of your own. You're not even trying to find out who I am for yourself. You just going off with this lame ass nigga saying, or this, or this, uh, uh, uh or this raw chicken motherfucker. You know what I'm saying, like, bro, that shit ain't cool. Women. That's what's great is like my relationship with certain women be like, yo, I just want to let you know you thought that was your man, blah, 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 blah. He, you know, so, and it's like we are fucked up to each other. I'm not saying there are pockets of comics that do help each other. Black right. comics. Yeah. Let me not. Because yeah. then they'll be like, man, are you going to say that about the old black? It's the truth. Yeah. We don't help each other. Even on. Even on social media, motherfuckers won't like your shit to help you. D.L. Hughley does that shit for me all the time. He always puts my videos up. If your videos are great, he'll put it on his platform. Mm -hmm. D.L. always looks out. He always looks out. Man, likes my shit. Michael Blackson will like my shit sometimes. Just just a little I, I little guess, things here and there. I guess he ain't put mine up because I'm Wendy Williams with a weight set. So he ain't put mine up. You're Wendy Williams with a weight set? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I remember one time you did send something to me when I imitated you. You say, man, I thought we was boys, man. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking don't do that shit, man. And then that was it. I never heard nothing else. <laughs> no, but, but I, no, but listen, I, I, we, we're not, we need, it, that's always been a problem with us in the first place, though. It is. It's our it unity, has. our it unity, has. our unity. Can I tell you a story? Sure, I'd love to hear okay. I kind of see what he talking about. He talking about the black unity, like how we need to come together and be more united. That's really what he talking about. And yes. Niggas do be talking a lot of shit. Doing a lot of hoe ass shit. And that is definitely true. You know what I'm saying. And we just talking about ourselves. Shit. Like I'm not a comedian. But in life yeah. Black folks do do a lot of hoe shit to each other. Especially black males. Black males are some of the most. Oof. Like I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? We do need to unite better. There was a guy I knew who was a big-time drug dealer pushing mad weight. He was one of the biggest in New York City. And, and he was telling us, me and my boy and shit, Artie Fuqua, he was telling us, um, 
You know, I ain't, I ain't afraid of shit. I ain't afraid of nothing. He goes, but I went to China to do make this deal with the, the, the mafia over there, the triads and shit. Yeah. And he goes, I'm talking to these dudes. And he goes, I ain't never been afraid of shit. But when I got into their, to their, like headquarters, yeah, yeah. they were so organized. It was scaring the shit out of me. They were so calm and so organized. It was sharp. And the guy, he's talking to the head dude, and he goes, and they're just having a, like a small talk. He goes, you know, the one thing about black people, he says, you guys are you. You're the trendsetters. Everybody copy black people. You're so creative. Your music, your style. Everybody like black people. We jealous of you. But the one thing you don't have is unity. Very easy to break you up. Wow. And this is in the drug game. He says, we don't... Hey, Lotto. He says, we can't even organize crime. <laughs> wow. We can't even organize crime. Everybody got... Oh, mafia, Italian, right? There's you know, supposed to be mafia, Russian mafia. We got... There was plenty of black organized crime. But it did get broken up, though. But that happens to a lot of gangs. That's not just, you know, there have been a lot of organized black crime, but they have been broken up. They have been broken up. Irish mafia and black folks can't even organize crime. Shame. What we? It's and it's the same with comics. I'm sorry, we do not help each other. And I know guys that talk shit about me. I know guys that shit on me all the time, but I keep it moving. I, and it's a shame because I'm not going around talking about shit. And I like helping people. If I can help, I'm the first motherfucker to try and help. I do. But some cats will block you out. Don't want you to have shit. You know, there's some, there's some, there's other gatekeepers right. within the gatekeepers. Wow. Yeah. There's other gatekeepers. But they are gatekeepers. Yeah, because they can be like, well, what do you think about this guy? Oh, man. Nah, man. If one guy told me and told some, some executive that I'm a joke thief. And one thing I don't like is someone call me a joke thief because I'm original. And I said, and I said, don't you ever fucking call me a jokey because you're a joke thief. You're a fucking joke. Don't ever say, but you know, we'll say shit like that. Yeah. I'm calling it out. Hope this gets about 60 million. Cause I, <laughs> I think the thing with us, we yeah. like as long as. See, see, you, you doing the same shit, bro. You trolling right now. You not saying no names, but you still trolling. You trying to get 60 mil. You trying to at least get 10. Like, come on, bro. Now that is a little corny, bro. Like, come on, bro. But you do have a point. We do need to you. We we do need to come together better, and stop being so easily offended by the next person and what they're doing and how they do it. Like that is stupid. If you're here, we're here. We cool. Yes, but don't get here. It, and you better not get here. Which is because then, because then I got to try to do something to whittle you down so you come back to my level or I elevate to your. Oh, you get here and you pull the ladder up. Don't let anybody else climb. Yes. But my thing is, I like when people, like you see a guy like Kevin Hart who brings up his boys. They're all eating. Yeah, I love that yeah. shit. He goes, oh, no, you eat the plastic club. You got a couple million. Yeah. You got a couple million. You got a nice car. That's the way you do this yes. shit. Yes. He don't owe all of us anything. It's the people that are working with him. They're eating. You know who else is great? Nick Cannon. Shout out to Nick. I did three seasons of Wild Out. Right. Reluctantly. I did it because he was like, man, when are you going to do Wild Now? I said, I don't feel like rapping fucking ABCs and shit. And I'm not good at that shit. He's a no, but we're going to make it to where you can do your person. Nick Cannon's another guy. No one's perfect, but Nick is hiring people, you know, from what I saw. Hiring people, likes to see you do well. Right. You know, stuff like that. We need that. Like Club Shay Shay. Look at how you bring us on here. You might make us kings, Shannon. Damn it. But I guess people say I shouldn't give you guys a platform because I force you guys to air out. You know what's fucked up? Say same with the you know the other TV that we I used to be on. You know the other yeah. TV. Yeah. But why? As soon as you got big, that's when all the bullshit started. You noticed that too, huh? Yeah. Because when they said, "Oh, I know things Shannon's gay." First of all, if someone says you're gay, that means you made it. You understand? I'm waiting for somebody to say I'm gay. They say, well, that's a moist booty ass, motherfucker. <laughs> I made it. They say I was moist booty, brother. <laughs> they talking about, you know you made it if they start calling you gay, right? 
Hey, man, that is crazy. Like, bro, I don't think Shannon Sharp is gay. But I can say, my boy. Well, well, well. My boy, are you with these? Huh. You with these motherfucking glasses on? That shit is, you is giving me my nana. You look like my nana if she had, if she had a fade. You know what I'm saying? Nah, dog. Nah, dog. I'm saying, and and and, and th that means you're doing well, and right. it's fucked up. Like, why? I don't understand why we get like when you get success, people are upset at you, but there's some people that get up, that get to a level and forget about everybody. Right. Like, I like you didn't get this on your own. Mm -hmm. Why would you like not? I mean, why would you turn your back? Why would you want to turn around? Once you establish yourself, bring the people in that you know will do well. Right. On their own. They don't, don't just bring people in. Some people bring you in. You can bring them in. It ain't shit. Right. They ain't doing anything. Right. You bring the people in that you go, oh, yeah, that because that's what I would do. Right. If I ever got to a level, I'd be like my my man, Ruben Paul, who was a fantastic comedian. He opens up for George Lopez. He, Ruben Paul, Dante Nero. I have Marina Franklin, Yamanika Saunders. I'm letting you all know these names. I would bring the people that are around right. me that I go, they can do the job. They can do the job. That's what I would do. Mm -hmm. Your career. Yes. Do you feel you've been blackballed? Do you feel that there have been opportunities that would, that you should have or could have been presented, but there were obstacles placed in your way? Ah, shit. Um, I don't think... I've asked my agents to ask around if I'm blackballed. I ask, say, please go ask around. Because first of all, one thing about Hollywood, they're not honest. People will be like, we loved you. And then they'll say, yeah, get rid of him. You know what I mean? Right. And I like, I try to surround myself with people who are honest with me. Right. I want people to, but I, people say, no, there's nothing you haven't, I said, did I say anything that was, because if it's my act, I think that's unfair. I should be able to express myself the way How I want feel? to. But I don't think so. I ain't, I ain't fucking with my wife. I ain't flirting with no man, no man. I don't owe nobody no money. Not that you know of. I don't know. Not that I know. I do know of. I ain't getting nobody <laughs> pregnant. No nothing. I'm right. always in my own lane, right. man. But I don't think I. Cause you been hitting with that plan B ski, that plan B ski, that plan B ski, that plan B ski. I bald. I I would hope not. Shit, you know. But I think that. Sometimes there's an intimidation to certain things. I think there's some intimidation. I don't know. I don't really want to dumb myself down for anybody. That just comes from that Nigerian pride, right. man. But you run right. into it on pride. So could you have, do you, as you look back. Yeah. Um, you say you've been in the, uh, the comedy game for 27 years. Yeah. As you look back, mm -hmm. is there anything you could have done differently? Could you have marketed yourself differently? No, I don't think so, man. Cause, now with the social media before it was everybody did the same shit. Oh yeah. You go to auditions, you try, you go to auditions, you go, you, you do, you do shows, you go on the road. It was the same kind of schematic, man. You try to rub elbows, you try to get invited to as much shit as you can, but now it's different. Now you can make it, she's like, you're not putting up any content. You could be doing a podcast, right? You could be now, but I'm doing all of that. I, I went, Along with the wind, I said, okay, right. let me start social media. I, I embraced that shit about six, seven years ago. I embraced it. I said, let me get off my ass and do it. And it yeah. worked for me. It really did work for me. It like revitalized the shit I was doing. But as far as like the Hollywood, Hollywood in, in, I'm not really in, in, I'm in, but not in, in. Right. It's like, how do you get there? Right. And I hear all this creepy shit in order to do that. And you got like, I don't want to be there. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it might be. I don't know if it's true or untrue, but it's always like, ah, uh, how do I get there? Right. You got to, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, the, 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 what, you mentioned gatekeepers and you say they're, they're you know, yeah. but is there, is there, you wish someone had opened the gate or given you a, yeah. a help lift God That would be great. I know people in positions that I've known for years that are like in position and they just fucking go, ah. Eh. They just act like they don't know you anymore. I, I'm telling you, it's like, like straight trans. Because you said you don't want to go in that office and sit on that couch and do that casting. You don't want a couch cast. If you don't want a couch cast, you're not going to get inside that room for real. You, you're going to be on the outside all forever. You know what I'm saying? 
Come on, man. You know that. You know you got to go in there, couch cast. Let them, let them, you know what I'm saying, do they want to with you. You know, have their way with you. And then, and then you'll get that, you know. But if you're not trying to do it, you're not going to get that. Right. So this whole time, you was always that dude, just waiting, faking right. it till you make it. Right. And and so you go, oh, my boy, he's a he's a, a showrunner right here. I've known him for years when we were coming up. Nothing. I've seen actors get a commercial and act like they don't know you. I said, motherfucker, that was Burger King. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I was a 7-Up guy for right. two years after yeah. Orlando Jones. But I was still the same guy because it's transient. That shit comes and goes. I was a 7-Up dude. I'm going to keep it 100. That's a, that was a big moment to advertise for a product mm -hmm. in America. Yes. I know all the jingles of all the different, right? Doc, be a pepper, drink. I know all the shit. Now I'm like a 7-Up. What? Right. So even though I was getting shit, I still was that guy because that shit comes and goes. You want to join Club Shay Shay? Because I ain't going to lie to you, man. God freely has some pretty good. He had he had he had some points. I can't even lie. Like black folks, we do need to come together. You know what I'm saying? We do need to stop all that unnecessary hate and animosity towards each other. You know what I'm saying? If we gonna troll each other, let the other do it together. You know what I'm saying? Come together, put on a show. And collect the bag over here. Don't be talk, don't be taking shots at this person, and this person don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's what these white people do. These white people play a game with us. They play a game. Like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna meet up with you. We gonna talk this. I'm gonna say this. You gonna say this. It's gonna start this, and then we gonna get this bag over here, and we gonna be cool, and they gonna forget about it. It's all a game. But that's in the video, man. I'm out.